For embedding a database in your mobile application, you have three choices. You can use SQLite, which is built into the mobile OS, or you can upgrade to IBLite, which adds RDBMS features like referential integrity. The third option is Interbase to Go, which is the full interbase for mobile application development with all the features you know and love, like table and column encryption. Let's take a look at using Interbase Lite with FireDAC. In FireDAC, it all starts with the FD connection component. We come in here, the driver ID is IB Lite, and we specify a path to a local database file. This path is only used at design time and Windows deployment. On iOS and Android, we need to change the path, which I'll show you how to do in a second, so it can find the local copy of the database file. Then we specify a username and password of sysdba and master key. We can test our connection and see that we're able to connect successfully. Whenever you're working with FireDAC, you want to make sure you include a weight cursor component for your application deployment. Otherwise, when you run it, you will get an error saying you need to add that. On our application, we're using an FD table in order to display the data to the user. This is bound via live bindings to the list view here. Once everything's set up, we just come in here and activate the table view, and we see we have our design time data. We also have two FD query components here for inserting and deleting records, and those are attached to these buttons here. But the really important code you need to see here is on the FD connection. We have an on before connect event handler, and this is the code that sets the path correctly for iOS or Android. So we see a conditional define for iOS or Android, and on those platforms, we change the database parameter to the documents path and the tasks GDB file. So this is going to look for the task GDB file in the correct folder for each of those OSs. The way we deploy the tasks GDB file with our application is through the deployment manager. So we come in here and if we look under file name, we'll find our task GDB file for iOS is deployed in startup documents. For Android, it's deployed in .assets slash internal. Additionally, in order to add our interbase support, we need to use the featured file manager here to come in and select the platforms and add everything but the ib to go registration file. Your ib light registration file is obtained when you register your ib light serial number and follow the directions on the website. You can download this text file and direct put it into the correct folder so that it will be deployed automatically. You can tell you've got your reg file in the correct location if it's not gray here. If you see this line where it shows the reg IB light file in gray, that means it's not in the right location. So check your documentation and make sure you've got it in the right folder. Once everything's done here correctly, then we're ready to run our application on a mobile device. Here it is running on my iPad mini. We'll go ahead and add a new record to download XE8, and we can select and delete this one since we've already developed our IB light application. Here it is running on Android under Lollipop. We'll go ahead and add a new record to upgrade today. And since we've developed our IB Light app, we'll go ahead and delete that one. The great thing about using an embedded database is you have full database functionality and persistence between application launches. This has been a brief overview of using IB Light with FireDAC for your mobile application development.